hours. If you start down in the mud and go up the hill to the left, where you see the chain link fence and the benches, that's the old Bahamut Garden area. And you can get to all of these spots using the Kilimanjaro Safari Walk. We're going to continue on to areas where you can only get on the monorail. If you're standing, please hold on. We are going to be moving. <laughs> Julie, where are the binoculars? Oh. <laughs> They're uh, in the car. I put them where? You put them in my lap. That I forgot them. I'm sorry. Straight up 10 feet and as long as 30 feet. Two different types of animals. Please don't whistle at the animals while we're out here today. When you start at the feeder and move left, there's a baby lying down, and come down from that one, there's another one stretched out. The bigger of the two was born here in January. We're looking at the Indian or greater one-horned rhinoceros. The uh, baby was born here on August 23rd. That was after a gestation period of 16 months. Babies normally weigh in somewhere between 140 and 150 pounds. She weighed in. He went the full 16 month gestation period, but he was small. He weighed in at 130 pounds. All the giraffes. We do pull the females into the bulbas as they get closer to their due date, and that way we can monitor their condition. Right up at the set of twins heading up the hill. They were born here in October. <coughs> and then directly below us are a couple of trees. If you look past the first tree, there's one of the elk. Go to the second tree and come up the hill. Any of she weighs somewhere between 700 and 900 pounds. She looks small. You're comparing her to mom. And mom weighs somewhere between 2,000 pounds. Are they all facing the same direction or different directions? They're all facing different directions because if a predator were to approach, one of them in the circle would notice it. They would then alert the rest of the herd. And we don't have any predators in these enclosures with one exception. They do consider the veterinarian a predator. But aside from that, it is a natural behavior. It's called an alert. Now, what the heck? They're doing. These are youngsters, and it is spring. So there you go. But as you move to the right of them, there's a raven sitting up on the back of the one camel. Watch what the raven's doing. Pulling the fur off the back of the camel. Why? To line his nest. Yeah, nothing like a camel hair lining in your nest. Now the camels are going to lose their hair eventually, so this is just uh, helping the situation. Dromedaries hump and take the capital letter V for Bactri and put it on its back. Helm. They're yeah, being waved on, so they don't want us stopping. Up at the feeder above the truck, there are a couple of large black animals. Those are domesticated <laughs> water buffalo. And when you see them, I think mozzarella cheese is their milk that she used to make mozzarella. There's a whole herd of goats running into the fence line down the hill, and it may be them that they're out. Hay holders attached to the fence line. The animals in front of those hay holders are Himalayan tar. They have the short, smooth horns. Those are the three species. The inclined. Fill out an application before you leave today. If you've gotten to 55, well, you've included too many ground squirrels in your count. There are 51 animals in the enclosure. And if you're standing, vultures are very important in the environment. They act as nature's garbage men. When you slot zebra out here, their stripes are much broader than the grebby zebras. These are herds of wild zebra. Now, if you see the one above the stream, keep moving right, and you're going to get to an adult. Back up a few feet, her baby's lying down right behind her. Born here in December, it's off the branches. We do keep them in their own enclosure. They prefer to be solitary. They're somewhat unpredictable. They've been seen charging fall culture. They're from Zaire, the central part of Africa. If you're gonna be down at the zoo, you can check them out down there also. We are coming back into the village. Everything you see from this point on, you can get back to on foot.
baby. There's the tram that we rode. There it goes again.